Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play an animation just by pressing a key on your keyboard. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to this channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So I'm using just a simple character model for uh, showing you how the mechanics will work for this. Obviously, you can use literally anything that has animations, whether it be like a spaceship, whether it be a person like I'm doing, or whether it just be any, any random object. So on the character that I have, they must have the animator component. So obviously, because we're dealing with animation and the controller for it that I have in this specific one has three animations and an empty new state. It's up to you whether you want to have the empty new state just like I have. It's just like an idle state, nothing would happen there. Uh, but these are the three animations that we want to play when we press, let's say, one, two or three on the keyboard. So to set that up, what we'll need to do is go to edit and go to project settings and input. Here we have a list of what we can press for all of our buttons. So obviously you see the last one is cancel. Currently that's set as escape. So what we need to do is increase the size of this to include however many keys we want to use. So for example, I say one, two or three. So we'll increase this value by three. So we'll type 21 and it will duplicate the last object. So to set this up, what we need to do is go to the first duplicate, in this case, the cancel and give this one a name. Let's call this one key. And the positive button is going to be the number one. Uh, there isn't going to be an alternative uh, positive button just because there is only one one key that we want to use. Uh, all the rest don't need to worry about. Same applies to the second duplicate. So we'll call this two key. And it's important to remember what you actually call them at this point because it's relative to what we type in the C sharp code. So this one is going to be number two. And then finally, the third duplicate is going to be three key and obviously you can call these whatever you want you don't have to call them the exact same as me it just kind of helps a little bit so we know what each key is so once that's done we need to create a c sharp script to allow ourselves to control this right click create c sharp script we'll call this anim control now as a standalone idea it's pretty cool to try out but you can find different ways of incorporating this into various um, games. Like, for example, you could have a security camera that if you press one, uh, number one on the keyboard, it'll move to the left. Press number two, it'll move up or down. Number three, it'll move to the right. So you can see how different animations can work with different keys on the keyboard. Like I say, this is just the mechanics of it. And we'll come up with some kind of cool effects at the end of it. So when this is finally loaded in Visual Studio, we're going to just have one single variable. And that variable is indeed going to be this object, which is our character. So let's put that in there. We can get rid of void start because we don't need it and annotations, they can go. So let's type in public game object and we'll call it the NPC because an NPC so why not and what we need to do in the update method is basically check for when we're pressing either one key two key or three key so if and in brackets input dot get button down and in brackets and quotes the name that we typed earlier so remember when I said you have to keep uh, that name in mind you have to remember it that's where we type it that name there so we don't literally press one we put whatever you called it in those input settings. So one key in quotes, close bracket, close bracket, open curly bracket. So if we press it, then the NPC dot get component and in spiky brackets animator because it's via the animator component. Open close bracket dot play. And then the name of your animation in brackets and quotes. So the first one is going to be drawing gun. So let's do that. Drawing gun. Quote, semicolon at the end. So now we just need to kind of copy it, paste it. Same mechanic, except it's number two on the keyboard. And the second animation we have is fist pump. So fist 
Boom. Make sure that's in the quotes inside the brackets. And finally, the third key, so three key, and that animation is just jumping. So let's type jumping and save the script. So it is important to make sure that these animations are attached to the controller, which is for your object. Like I say, in this case, this controller contains those animations right there. So we'll be able to play them. So now what we need to do is attach that script to an object. So game object, create empty. You could theoretically attach it to that particular game object and you wouldn't even really need the component, but it, it's entirely up to you. There's various different ways of doing multiple things in Unity. So drag and drop onto there. Finally, state the variable right there. So now let's press play. So our character should stand still, not do anything at all until we press one. Perfect. Now let's press two. Excellent. And three. Brilliant. Back to one, two, three, two, one. Perfect. So obviously you're not limited here. You could put an animation for every single key on the keyboard if indeed you wanted to. But the mechanics of uh, having an animation attached to a key is really as simple as that. So guys, I hope that's helped. And if you're stuck at any point, need any help, leave a comment below. Or if you just want to have a chat, leave a comment below as well. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching.